Good morning. Today is Monday the 2nd of October. I recently returned from a few days away in the Lake District. We stayed in Keswick. I would like to say that we had sun every day, but that was just not the case. It was more than we managed to avoid the rain. However, on the day we arrived, it was sunny and was not a cloud in the sky. So we went up to one of my favourite places near Keswick, Casterig Stone Circle. Now you could, if you're feeling energetic, walk up to the site, but we, like most people do, drove up. You park up at the side of the road and walk into the field opposite. There you find an information board about the circle. But at that point, there's not a lot to see, just a grassy field. So you start to walk, walk up the slightly sloping field and the stones begin to come into sight. And as the ground flattens out at the top of the field, the whole stone circle is there before you. At the north side of the circle are two massive upright stones which are believed to have been the entrance to the circle. And amazingly, 38 of the original 42 stones still remain in their original position. You move into the circle and in the centre, it is then you really appreciate why man built this circle here. Because as you turn around, and taking the view, the circle is surrounded by many mountain tops, including the peaks of High Street and Helvellyn. You are able to have an unhindered 360 degree view of mountain peaks. The first time I stood there, it just took my breath away. And you get a feeling that you're sort of on top of the world. Now, as with many of these historical monuments, their function is just not known. It was thought to have been built over 3,000 years ago and could have been an important meeting place for people from the surrounding valleys. It could also have been a trading place or a place of religious significance, but no one knows for certain why it was built or what it was used for. However, as I stand in the middle of that circle, I could see why they chose to build it in this special spot. I could imagine it as a place for people to come to, to worship their God. I could imagine people looking around at the amazing view and the words of Psalm 121 being on their voice. I lift my eyes to the hills, from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Standing in that place, as I looked out at the wonders of the Lord's creation, the mountains, hills, valleys, and in the distance, Derwent water. The stone circle was a feat of man's building skills yet it paled into insignificance compared to the wonders of the amazing views of the Creator that are all around you. In this high place, surrounded by this magnificent view of creation, all I can do is add my words of praise to my Lord and my God. Let us pray. Creator God, we thank you that we can visit these special places. This stone circle created long, long ago by man in such magnificent surroundings, where we can take in the beauty and wonder of your creation. Lord, we praise and thank you. Amen.